Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello and welcome to the College Investor Audio Show. So glad you're here. Today we're taking a look at safe deposit boxes. Everything you need to know. Let's get right to it. So if you have important valuables and documents just kind of lying around the house, a robbery, a fire, man, they can be especially devastating if your most important documents are all stored inside your house. That's why a safe deposit box can come in really handy. Let's explore what a safe deposit box actually is and then when it makes sense to use one. Plus, we'll give you some warnings too you might not have considered about safe deposit boxes. So how does a safe deposit box actually work? A safe deposit box offers a way to keep your valuables in a secure location outside of your house. When you visit your safety deposit box in person, it will look like a big long rectangular metal box, maybe you've seen these in movies, and it's stored in your financial institution. The box will have two keyholes, which will need to have both keys inserted simultaneously to open the box. One of the keys is held by the financial institution, you and only you will hold the second key. The double key system allows for an extremely secure location to store precious items. It'd be like next to impossible for anyone to steal the items within a safe deposit box. Even if someone stole your key, the bank will require information to verify your identity before opening the box. Well, what kinds of things do you put in there? Rare coins, jewelry, irreplaceable documents, even old family photos? Stock certificates, insurance policies maybe, savings bonds, property deeds, birth certificates, etc. Of course, not everything belongs there. There's a few items that would probably do better in a different location. That includes cash, an original copy of your will, letters of instruction for your estate post-mortem, maybe an advanced health care directive, or any items that are deemed illegal in your state. Okay, here are some <laughs> here are some benefits of a safe deposit box. A high level of security. That's probably the biggest benefit of a safety deposit box. It's so secure. It's probably one of the securest places an individual of the public can store something. After all, a financial institution offers multiple layers of security that most homeowners don't. A few of these heightened security measures like alarm systems, guards, cameras, vaults, motion detectors, all of it. Beyond that, it's also not in your house. So by being in a secondary location, it minimizes some risks, like fire. It's relatively affordable. You can expect to pay around 60 bucks per year to use a safe deposit box. However, the size of the box will dramatically impact the cost. A larger box will lead to a larger annual bill, of course. Also keep in mind that different banks have slightly different prices. Like Bank of America, for example, offers a 3x5 safe deposit box for 75 bucks a year. But Chase offers the same size box for 50 a year. Warnings about safe deposit boxes. Of course, with pros always comes cons. You only have access during banker hours only. That's the biggest con of a safe deposit box, just basically the hassle of going to the box to get whatever you need. But the nice part is, whatever you store there will be needed very rarely. You would also have to go during bank hours, and that can be hard if you're working. Additionally, it's important to consider what could happen if the bank closed for an extended period of time. Like during the COVID-19 crisis, many banks closed their doors to the public for weeks and just had the drive through open. So with that, you couldn't access your valuables for an extended period of time. Recurring cost is a second concern, of course, that annual fee. Although the cost may seem relatively low, it's just yet another expense to add to your annual budget. An alternative is to buy a fireproof safe for your home. However, these can easily cost hundreds of dollars. I've seen them for thousands of dollars. Possible loss. Although the security measures within a bank are extremely high, it doesn't guarantee against possible losses. With that, the bank doesn't guarantee the safety of your items. A few hundred customers of safe deposit boxes report having missing items each year. If an item went missing from your safe deposit box, most banks would not be required to cover the loss. Ah, Of course, you can have your own insurance policy on the items that are in there, but that's another cost to consider 
along with the safe deposit boxes. There are also some complications if the owner of it dies. As we have mentioned, the bank is only able to open a safe deposit box to the owner of the box. So with that, the question of what happens to the box when the owner dies must be asked. It is possible to make someone else a co-renter of the box. For example, a lot of spouses will add their partner as a co-renter. With that, either spouse could access the box if either dies. Without a co-renter in place, things become a bit more complicated. Essentially, anyone seeking access to the box after the owner's death would need the backing of a court order. This is important because certain important papers like a will could be difficult and expensive to gain access to due to the involvement of judges and lawyers. I would need to make sure I took steps to make it easy on everyone. Just keep that in mind. Limited availability, because not all banks offer safe deposit boxes. People have embraced the digital storage age, so the need for safe deposit boxes has declined rapidly. With that, the number of banks offering this service. A few banks that still offer safe deposit boxes, that we mentioned Bank of America and Chase, also Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, BB&T, Regions, and PNC. Local financial institutions may also offer safe deposit boxes. You'll just have to call and check. Here's the bottom line. A safe deposit box can be a useful way to store your valuables. Take some time, though, to consider the pros and cons before diving into this tried-and-true storage method. And that's all we have for today. I hope it was helpful. If it was, you think this can help out somebody else, please go ahead and share this podcast. We would so appreciate it. Also, check out thecollegeinvestor.com. There are tons of resources, links, tips, and tricks on how to win with your money, and so much more. Again, it's thecollegeinvestor.com.